Okay, this video is to go along with uh, trying to diagnose a bad TCM. If you suspect that your sensor is good or doing uh, testing, unless you just want to throw parts at it and see if a TCM will work, you can do that. But you also need to test the wiring. Wiring can go bad. Wiring is notorious for going bad on Volkswagens. So uh, you need to load test the wire. Granted, you need to keep in fact this caveat that you need to know where you are in the circuit. If you're in the wrong place, you can burn other stuff up. You can burn your ECM, you can mount wires. You really need to know what you're doing. Uh, I have a jumper going from the positive side of the battery. I've got it hooked to one side of the clip that fastens to the G68. I just got a uh, probe in the front of the clip right there in which my meter just came loose. Set this aside for a second so I can reconnect the meter. So you have to forgive me trying to do this one-handed with a camera and test leads and clips. It just doesn't always work out that way when you don't have someone to help you with it. Uh, get this to connect back. Crap. Sorry about the long video. It just alligator clips and T-pins don't always work out like you hoped they would. Okay. Back in. So, just a front probe in. I've got the two uh, alligator clips together, and I've got my meter in the middle of it so I can find continuity. To check the wire, I already know where I am in the circuit, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, using my meter, set on a continuity test so I can probe the pins. And if you're unsure where you're at, and this is the TCM connector, 68 pin, I believe. And you can uh, just start probing wires until you find and hear that sound, the uh, audible sound. The audible sound and the zero out on the meter lets me know that I'm in the right place. And if I want to check resistance, I set it to the resistance setting and set it in the same pin, and it's going to show me the resistance of my wire. This is unloaded. This was out of load. So resistance without a load doesn't necessarily mean anything. So once again, positive lead on the battery, 12 volts. You want to watch ECM stuff. They're five volts. You start setting too much volts to it, you're going to fry stuff. But it's unplugged, there's nothing else in the system. This is just a, a one wire straight, straight shot from this plug to the other plug, nothing else to fry. So I have a 55 watt test light that I own hooked up to the negative side of the battery. So I've got it going over here and with my meter, I know exactly which plug it is. It is this one right down here, if I can touch it. Oh, should be. Ah, I have not got the meters at the continuity. That's why it's not going off. That one. Okay. That one right there. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put my test light to that one right there. So it's 55 watts. And this little ECM wire will light that up. That's a lot of wattage. That's a big drain. That's a big load. If that wire can light this big 55 watt test light, then the integrity of that wire is pretty good. So I am not worried about that wire being broken or down to one strand of wire. It can carry power. Uh, most people, you're not gonna find a 55 test light. This is special made for electronic testing. Some people use a headlight bulb. Some people use different types of amperage. It's just a matter of opinion. But uh, you're just trying to put a big draw of current through it. Not so much that you heat up the wire for long or melt it, because some of these wires are very small but just to see if it can actually, with a test light, with a good load, with a bright battery, then uh, it can carry good electricity. So in theory, that wire should be good.